With the imperial seal in hand, Sun Jian left the capital and returned to Changsha. Meanwhile, Dong Zhuo was slain by his retainer Lu Bu at Chang'an. The emperor, who he had kept under his thumb, subsequently fell into the hands of his remaining followers. With the emperor in such a predicament, it was impossible to return the imperial seal to him at that time. And yet, those in the court and their own greedy ambitions could not be trusted with such a powerful object either. So Sun Jian decided to quietly hide the seal so that it would not give rise to a new age of chaos. However, an object of such dazzling beauty and power could not remain hidden forever. Yuan Shao of Hebei learned of the seal's location and demanded that he hand it over. In response to Yuan Shao's threats, Sun Jian turned to another for assistance. It was none other than Yuan Shu, the one man who equaled Yuan Shao in fame and prestige. In exchange for Yuan Shu's protection, Sun Jian agreed to attack Yuan Shu's old nemesis, Liu Biao. Sun Jian took Sun Tzu with him, and together they set out for Liu Biao's territory of Xiangyang. Within his large, powerful hand, the imperial seal glistened in the sunlight, as if welcoming the impending battle. Father's well, much more powerful than either Yuan Shao or Yuan Shu. And now he has the imperial seal. It must be a sign. So why are we simply being treated like low-level servants of Yuan Shu's? Sir, I... I know you're strong, Father. So why don't you take a level of responsibility worthy of your skills? We shall talk about that once the battle is over. For now, let us focus on the task at hand. Now, let's get going. <sighs> Liu Biao is on the verge of defeat. Yuan Shu will fulfill his promise now. Uh, father. Listen, I... Sir. Oh. Oh. The enemy commander has been slain! Father! No! They mustn't escape! Father? Father! I'm sorry. My death will only hurt you more. You can't die. I still haven't said... Please. My son. You... must... Lead the people your own way. The tiger could no longer hide his ambitions for the land. 